Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can get voltage from Xbox 360 power adapter. This power adapter, if you look closely here, it gives 12 volts, 16.1 ampere. This is a lot of power and it has also 5 volts. So this is 203 watt. So what I was I'm interested in is to get 12 volts and with this 16 ampere I'm using it for a lipo battery charger. So for any other purpose that if you need higher power with 12 volts, so this is a good source. Now to check that I just disconnected uh, the connector which I did not need it. Power light and I'm con uh, this is now connected to the power. So one thing is clear that uh, when you see all these colors, yellow, 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 these are all for the same purpose. So it just uh, increases the thickness of cable. Instead of one, they put four, so it's more flexible. And all these black are also the same, they are ground. So this is one wire red and then these four. So I just removed the uh, tip of one of them and here also I removed one or two. So it doesn't matter, they are the same as if they are connected. So, to check the voltage, now on my uh, multimeter I'm connecting this. My multimeter is connected, these are the two tip of my multimeters. Now let me check for the ground, just connected to, to the ground and then I'm checking the voltage here. So on the yellow, I don't see anything, so it's 39 millivolts, with, which is just noise. Um, and here on blue, 21 millivolts. And on red, I'm getting 5 volts. So that's the thing. So this 5 volts is actually the voltage that goes to Xbox to turn on the small light and some wake up system. So when you press the remote or turn it on, this is just supplying that initial power. Now, if I connect this here, because this is three wires, I immediately I know these four are the 12 volts. So, this blue is, if I, if I press it with this, pay attention to that light. As soon as I connect it, the light is on and then you get 12 volts, 12.2 or something so that is a 12 volts and that is on so in order to get the voltage keep this always connected and then connect all this properly I uh, insulate all of these so every time you, you plug it in it will be on as long as you have this one you see when I removed it it went off and the voltage so 5 volt is connected to this to turn this on so this is not all the time on Thank you very much. I hope you find this useful for some purpose.